you know what is the starting point of any new substation it is a single line diagram or sld in this video you will understand what is a single line diagram and why it is used so widely and to get the details you need to watch the video let's consider one example here what you can see on your screen is the section drawing of a substation a 145 kv substation you see how long this can get and also it becomes really difficult to see every switch gear in a single view also it is difficult to understand which type of bus bar arrangement is used in this case and what you can see is only a single bay if there are multiple bays then this would get further complicated and clumsy this is the substation we are talking by the way if you look at the power system then it would have a lot many things which is not there in the substation and showing it in this way in a single view is simply impossible instead of showing the substation uh, arrangement in this way there is another method that we can use to show it that method only uses lines and symbols to represent the substation arrangement so instead of showing a circuit breaker like this we can represent by a standardized symbol similarly all the other switch gear would have their own symbols so a 145 kv bay we just saw can also be represented by using lines and symbol which would look like this now you would have noticed this type of representation makes it very easy to understand the arrangement of different switch gear in the substation and also the bus bar arrangement this type of arrangement is called as single line diagram or sld or one line diagram now what we are talking about in the example is a 145 kv three phase system but here this representation it is only showing a single line and hence the name single line diagram even if the dc system needs to be represented the same is done using a single line only a single line diagram is a simplest symbolic representation of an electric power system or a substation circuit arrangement the single line diagram gives an overview of each circuit arrangement with all the switching and non switching high voltage equipment in a substation it is the basic document required to plan a substation application of sld is not only limited to that it is also used in data centers to indicate the power flow by the way if you are interested in knowing the different bus bar arrangement in a substation then you can join my basic course on substation which is available on courses.theelectricalguide.in the course would really help you in understanding the basics of substation do check it out link is in the description the advantage of this type of diagram is that the complete system can be seen as a whole in semi pictorial form although it is not meant to be a detailed guide for the layout of the controls and instruments on the control panels it is sufficiently concise to enable the designer to check that all the facilities required by the operator are present it shows the correct location of cts for different functions uh, the summation of ct windings overlapping of protection zones selection of voltage transformers etc can all be easily checked on the single line diagram details such as uh, rated voltage ct ratios uh, current ratings of switch gear and many other things are also included on these single line diagrams the purpose of the sld is to provide a clear and concise overview of the electrical system's configuration as well as its electrical and physical characteristics single line diagrams are commonly used by electrical engineers designers and operators for planning designing and troubleshooting of power system in the coming video we will discuss a single line diagram of a typical power system and to get the update on the coming videos make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notification turned on so in conclusion the single line diagram is a vital tool for designing planning and troubleshooting electrical power systems it provides a clear and concise overview of the system's configuration and its electrical and physical characteristics 
So I hope you have understood what is a single line diagram. In the next video, we'll talk about the single line diagram of a power system. If you found the video helpful, then do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.